Ladies and gents, Tony here in the studio with a quick tip. If you've considered trying Capture One, but you're intimidated by learning a new piece of software or you're like me and your head would implode if you had to learn something completely new at the moment, this might help. Check it out. So this is what Capture One looks like when you first install it and launch it. Uh, it doesn't have these awesome images in it yet, but you'll provide your own awesomeness to it. Um, as you can see, the layout is totally different from Lightroom, but I'll go over it with you real quick. Um, I'm not going to deep dive into this right now. I basically want to get to the tip, but um, this uh, the, your, all your settings are on the left hand side your film strip is on the right you can alternatively have your film strip along the bottom when you set up capture one for the first time it's going to ask you do you want your film strip on the right or on the bottom do you want your tools on the left or the right and depending on how you make those selections when you first set it up it can look very similar to Lightroom but not as similar as what I'm about to show you. So, you know, on the left-hand side are all of these different tools and you have these tool tabs, which are predetermined by Capture One, but you can change them. The versatility in here is uh, overwhelming. You can have any of these tools can be moved to any of these other tabs. You can pop them out so that they're their own floating tool. You can create your own tabs up here. It, it, it's completely customizable. So uh, don't get hung up on that for for now, what I want to show you is this. If you come up to Window, go to Workspace, drop down to Migration, boom, the whole screen changes, and now it's something that's much more similar to uh, Lightroom, especially over here. We've removed a lot of the tool panels. There was a lot more at the top if you rewind the video and look, but this one in particular should look very familiar to you guys coming from Lightroom. You've got your histogram, you uh, Lightroom layers, whatever, depending on which version you're using, uh, white balance, exposure, your highlights and shadows, your clarity, dehaze, etc., etc 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 it goes on down the line very 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 similar to what you see in Lightroom so this will make it much much easier for you if you're trying to play with Capture One but you're a, a lifelong Lightroom user this should make that migration a lot easier um, as far as bringing in catalogs and things that's a whole nother process but check out this learn tab up here because that will walk you through some of that process as well if you decide you do want to move to a Capture One workflow permanently. Okay, ladies and gents, if you've considered moving over to Capture One or try and Capture One from Lightroom, hopefully this will help. If you still have questions or you want to go deeper into Capture One, you can always click that little play button in the top of the window, the little YouTube looking icon. That'll give you all their tutorials, which are very thorough, very helpful. Uh, Capture One's super powerful. I think once you dive into it, you'll find out that it is a superior raw editor, a lot more functionality than Lightroom has. We'll talk about some more of that functionality in future videos but for now that's just the tip so if you haven't subscribed to the channel do that now like right now and then um you know follow me on instagram at tony roseland and i uh, would love to communicate with you there and clubhousey and all the other social crap that's out there these days so trying to keep up with it all is killing me but uh if you have tips for lightroom users who are moving into capture one stuff that's helped you get acquainted with the application throw a comment down below and um, maybe it'll help somebody out that's it i'm out till next time peace